Well, hello guys and welcome back to uh, my local wood again. Now I know you might be saying, back in the woods again, but I can't help it. I honestly can't help it at the minute. I've, I've got such a feel for these woods at the minute and I just can't help coming back. Especially at the minute when the light in the evenings has just been absolutely beautiful. A lovely warm light just flowing through the woods. Now, as I was saying in last week's video, what I was doing there is concentrating on, on one subject and basically trying different compositions to kind of fit and it all goes together with this uh, with the nature photography that I've really been doing lately and I've got into the feel of things where it's all about just slowing down slowing down the whole way that you work and just taking the time to actually enjoy the surroundings that you're in I find that sometimes with the landscape photography you're running around at the last minute trying to get that last minute shot whereas in the woods here you can just take your time Enjoy the sounds of the birds, enjoy your surroundings and just basically have a whole load more of a relaxing time. So I've found this has helped my whole workflow as far as woodland photography is concerned anyway. And to be honest I'm finding that the subjects, well the compositions come to me more naturally that way. Now as I was walking through the woods here the, the smell suddenly hit me and I could smell honeysuckle and I looked up against this tree behind me here and it's absolutely covered and the light's just streaming in and backlighting it so I'm going to try a shot here I don't quite know what I'm going to do with it yet but we'll have a work with it and see what we can come up with now I've tried a couple of shots with the uh, the honeysuckle back there and I've tried a couple of close-up close -up shots as well well I, I don't want I don't want to force them is what I'm trying to say I don't want to force an image but I don't want to kind of walk away from it without giving it a proper try as well and just kind of turning up and say ah that's not working and move on and just try and give it enough time to see if it's actually going to work or not because maybe I've in the past I've, I've walked past an image that I might have been able to make work if I'd given it a bit more time now I must have spent a good half an hour wandering around this scene and no matter where I put the tripod I just couldn't get it to work I wanted to line the tree up on the left and use it as kind of a um, foreground interest but there was just no way to make it work. So what I decided to do in the end is just take a nice intimate close up shot and I think that was the best I could do in this situation. So I'm learning that for me if I just stop, sometimes just stop, sit down and take in your surroundings and just watch what happens around you, watch the light falling on the trees, on the ferns, just watch what's happening around you and I think if you take the time to stop things become clearer and you can see compositions coming to you whereas if you're constantly just walking round and round and round looking for something I think half the time you're walking past it and there is scenes in front of you if you just take the time to see them may not always be the best but you don't really know until you try I think that's one of the main takeaways for me is that it's just all about enjoying what's around you. I mean, I've come out tonight, I've left two kids at home and it's chaotic at home. So sometimes it's just nice to get out, switch off and just listen to nothing but nature around you. So what I noticed with this little scene here is the light was lighting up the uh, the tree bark and then there was the fern in front of it just off to the left here. So I positioned the camera over to the left over the top of the fern because the, uh, the sunlight was actually lighting that as well from the side. So the tree was the main subject but I wanted the fern in the foreground as well and the light was absolutely lovely on it. And I must have spent a good 20 minutes or so just trying to get the composition to work. Not entirely sure if I did, but if I did I'll put the image up now. So 
So as you can see with this image, what I was trying to do is actually align the tree up on the left, but I wanted it further over to the left, so what I probably should have done is actually taken this more in a landscape mode and cropped it down because portrait there was nowhere for me to move that got it got it right as you can see on the left hand side of the tree there there's a gap down the back of the tree and that really spoils it for me I like the overall feel of the image but I think that just kind of spoiled the whole thing and there was no way of me moving to actually make that any better well the patience has paid off because the light is absolutely streaming through the trees down the bottom here so what's happening is I'm shooting into the sun, which is kind of a problem, but at the same time I'm getting beautiful warm lens flare at the, well it's, yeah, lens flare at the top of the uh, frame. And it actually, it just looks absolutely stunning. Because it's casting that beautiful warm light over all the ferns on the bottom of the uh, forest floor there. So as I was watching what was happening, I just noticed this patch of light that's casting on the ferns and in that little tree in the distance there. So I'm using that as my main composition and it looks absolutely stunning on the back of the camera. So with the current conditions, I'm currently shooting ISO 400 because it's still quite dark inside the forest itself. Um, uh, F16 and a third of a second and I'm on a 70 to 200 lens and I'm around about, around about 125 mil. Woodland photography and, and nature photography in general has always kind of been a bit bit of a challenge to me. But since I've kind of got more into this mindset of slowing down and paying attention to what's happening around me, I'm starting to get into a bit of a routine with it now. And if I can get one shot per shoot, I'll be more than happy. I hope this has been of help to you guys, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.